Good morning. Good morning. Do you remember? We're from Oshkosh. Appleton, Wisconsin. I work at the University of Whitewater. From Superior to Green Bay, lacrosse, all over. Waukesha. We're going. I'm from Fort Wisconsin. We basically used up all the bus resources in the state of Wisconsin. Union busting is a violation of federal law. I've been a state employee for 29 years, and while I'm more than willing to pay my share for my pension and my health insurance, it needs to be fair. And to take away collective bargaining rights is the greatest insult anyone could give to a dedicated worker. It's just so unfair what's happening. We truly believe that the people of the state shouldn't be betrayed like this. These contracts have been negotiated for over 50 years. And now to have someone come in to introduce a 114-page bill on the same day they talked about getting the National Guard? We're not thugs. We're not Cosa Nostra. We're some of the finest people in the state. Any AFT Wisconsin members? What Walker and potentially the legislature is trying to do is turn back 50 years of legislation, 50 years of workers' rights. So if you don't fight for them now, they're potentially gone for decades. If they're worried about their jobs, uh, their livelihood, uh, the money that they can make, um, and, and their retirement and health benefits, uh, they need to get on board and get over and, and stop this before, before it passes. I love teaching. I think it's just the most important job that, that any and fulfilling job that anybody could do. I'm here to make sure I can stay doing that. My mother is a music teacher in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. My father is a principal in Williams Bay. And I have grown up in Wisconsin and uh, feel that these rights are rights that all, all people should have. As a full-time teacher at METC, I work 70 hours a week, week after week after week, because I care about what I do. And, and so, you know, to, to paint this blanket of like public sector workers are lazy and they don't work hard and they're paid too much and they're spoiled, it's just mean and nasty. So, so I'm angry and I'm terrified and I need to do whatever I can right now to make this stop. If we do allow this bill to pass, it's going to give too much power to one person right now. And in Wisconsin, no matter who you believe in and what you think is right, this is something we simply cannot afford. We have a decent wage. We have benefits. These are things that workers, our livelihoods are dependent on. It was amazing to look down the street and see how many people were out here to support us in our cause. This is a matter of fairness for me. Um, collective bargaining is the thing that I'm concerned about. I'm certainly willing to make concessions and give things up so that our economy can heal and grow. My message to the governor is that don't try to kill the unions and don't try to destroy workers and the middle class. That's what he's doing. Unionized faculty and academic staff can speak with a meaningful voice to the rest of the state and support our communities and our campuses. Yeah! We're proud of you and the fighting spirit you're demonstrating here today. Why are we going to stand up and say, don't tread on our rights, don't tread on Wisconsin workers, don't tread on us? Let them make no mistake about it. We're strong. The message that we were trying to send to the governor today that uh, workers, state workers are human beings and we deserve to have the right to negotiate our wages. This really is an attack on the basic American dream for people of the working class and of the poor and of the middle class. Today I'm really proud to be a union member. I mean, I always have been, but I especially am today. By standing together, we can make a difference. We will defeat this horrible, horrible bill. Solidarity! Woo!